tags and attributes of selectors. If you are using selectors, you must have seen on the image that you see on my right hand side. You see something like this been selected by the selector and you'll be wondering what are this, what is this language all about, what does this mean, right? You must have gotten a hint as to what it is. But again, let's understand in detail as to what are this tags and attributes of selectors. Okay. So let me tell you when you select any image, right, using a click activity or any, any place when you select, the moment you select, you will get these kind of information. Okay. So this is a XML fragmentation on the previous video. I have given clear cut concept about that. Now here we need to understand the first line which comes right the moment you select for example I am using this UI explorer and if I click on indicate element and going to select any window over here let's say indicate element and let's say I am going to select anything right for example add line 1 if I click on this. So what is happening within a second you will find these lines are coming. So let me tell you the very first line right so the very first line is nothing but is called the first node okay this technical term if you remember this will be very very helpful so this the first line is called the first node okay and the last line which where you have clicked on right so that text box where you will be entering your data so the last one which you have selected or whatever that element could be the moment you select that the last line will indicate the it is called last node is the selected element itself Okay, so this is the first node and the last node and in between these are the containers, right? So one window up upon the other window upon the other window. So this concept, please watch my previous video. I have clearly demonstrated that, okay? So now in this one, once you get this kind of a writing, there are two things you should remember. One is called tags. The other one is called attributes, okay? So tags, so uh, this one, I think violet in color, WND. So, what is the meaning? The WND meaning window. Okay. So, Windows app mycrm.exe. So, I am dealing with this application, right? Mycrm.exe. So, we are saying it is a Windows application whose name is mycrm.exe. Okay. So, the the uh, you know this color, the violet color, which you start in the beginning as a tag, right? So, this one is called the tag. So, WND is a tag in this entire one. So, similar way, if you are dealing with a web page you will find HTML instead of WND, it will be written HTML, okay? Sometimes you will see control, web control, web page control, right? And Java means Java application control, right? So if you find these kind of tags, so these are nothing but specific application related tags. It is made of a web page HTML or it is made of a Windows application. So similar tags you will find, okay? So these are called tags. Now the next thing I have to learn, what are these attributes? So we understood tags. Attributes means every attribute has a name and a value. So remember this, let me show you. So if you see here, if you can, could see my screen, it is saying app equals to mycrm.exe or control name is equal to form one, control name is equal to text box people. So this, you know, the control name and the value, this is called an attribute put together they are called attribute okay so once you have this concept clear that is where we can roll forward and we will understand and deep dive into the selectors so this knowledge is very much important you should be able to take the technical terms you can say this is the tag windows is the tag html is the tag or you can say uh, the attribute control name equals to this there you know to change so you will get technically sound when you know the proper terms okay so these are the tags and the attributes you got an example very good okay guys going forward we are going to get deep dive into the selectors chapters so let's understand i am making very small small videos so that you can easily you know look at the video and learn things very quickly rather than a longer video until it is necessary so guys let's get started let's please uh, hit on the like button please do not forget a like button is something we definitely need for our work please do hit on the like button Please share with your friends. Thank you guys for watching. Have a great day.